Hey, what's up, Brief vs. Molina Fem again here in our garage, in our farm here. All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for the subscribers. Thank you guys for showing us uh, support. All right, uh, we're like at a 475 subscribers. Let's keep it going. We're close. We're super close to that giveaway, guys. Let's keep the subscriber uh, count coming. A lot of you guys that are watching our videos aren't subscribed. Uh, let's make sure we're hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. That way um, our videos are able to get to the algorithm, making sure people are watching this uh, content. All right, guys. Uh, a lot of people are interested in the reefing hobby. And uh, let's get, let's make uh, this content get to them, guys. All right. Thank you guys again for subscribing. Those are you that have subscribed. And uh, let's get to that giveaway, guys. We're super, super close. All right. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit here, guys. All right. I had a few visitors come over uh, and see my uh, tanks over the weekend and were a little bit shocked that I used uh, tap water. All right. I've been using tap water since the beginning of the setup. Yes, I've used RODI water in the past and I had great results. But um, things get expensive. I got other expenses, all right? Uh, this is not the only thing I do. Uh, I have other things that I, that I work on. So I've been using tap water in this system, all right? Uh, don't be afraid to use it, guys. You guys can see everything that I have. I've uh, used RODI water and I've never had a, some, some of these A-cans look so puffier, all right? Uh, they're loving it. I know A-cans love a little bit uh, dirtier water. There's uh, I haven't tested, I will test, give you guys results in another video on how things are doing with like nitrates and phosphates. I haven't tested in a while. It's been like a month or two months maybe since I've last tested. I just go by the visual and the coral. But let's not go off a of subject, guys. Let's keep talking about tap water and um, what I've been doing, all right? I do run carbon, guys, okay? There it is, that dual reactor from BRS. I run carbon on both chambers, okay? Uh, the TDS that comes out of my um, out of my uh, tap water is around 215, 220, all right? I put the API uh, tap water conditioner and then uh, put the water straight into the, to the top off, um, system that I got all right so nothing uh, other than the carbon that takes away extra maybe impurities are in the water but uh, I've never had a tank look this good just by using tap water all right so tap water is doing great things here for me maybe as the city's water is good I don't know but Everything's looking good. I don't have any unwanted algaes, any un unwanted, uh, uh, what can I say, like nasty algaes that people get, all right? I feel like sometimes we try to keep our systems a little bit too clean when using RODI water that we strip everything out of the water. And that's why we get those uh, nuisance algaes that um, people are afraid of, especially the newcomers, all right? The newcomers don't want to come in the hobby and then go through the nasties. Uh, the nasty cycle and then you know get disappointed and uh, drop out of the hobby all right so i've had great results all right yes when my phosphates have been high i do grow a little bit um a little bit of bi biopsis but nothing that a little hand going in the tank yanking it out and it's all good and then we get the the levels uh dropped a little bit and then it goes away all right but other than that I haven't had anything else that bothers uh, like the coral being in uh, tap water. The coral have a nice polyp extension. You guys can see everything's nice and good. Uh, looks a little bit uh, murky there. I haven't uh, cleaned the glass, but you guys can see everything's fine all right guys so don't be afraid guys to try new things i know everybody does things differently in this hobby uh if you want to go the rodi way go ahead um do whatever um makes you feel good and happy all right so using tap water i don't see any uh ill effect in my coral so i'm gonna keep using it and i'm gonna keep trying out pieces guys i'm gonna keep trying out different coral all right and uh checking which coral um 
does good and which one doesn't. You know, if I see coral that uh, isn't doing good, especially like SPS and tap water, I'll just go ahead, take it back, give it back to some of the local reefers that I know that have nice uh, SPS tanks and uh, just uh, bring them back to health if they're doing anything uh, that I don't like in my system, all right? If they have, if they don't have any polyp extension, retracting, bleaching, or whatever the case may be, all right? But everything else here, it's doing fine, and it looks good, all right? So, we're gonna keep going at it, all right, guys? Don't forget to hit the like button, the comment section, all right? Um, we're gonna uh, have a lot more stuff coming for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be having some merch get done, and. You know, Weiser Corals trying to get ourselves on the map out there and um, making sure that uh, we give you guys more information on what we're doing over here, all right? So, I feel like tap water makes my or my, my uh, corals a little bit hardier, guys, all right? Uh, I feel like if, you're, if you were to put it in a system that's super clean, yeah, they'll do fine, but if anything was happening to uh, guys that are learning and they have a little out swing or whatever, these corals will be able to extend it because they grow in a way harder uh, or at least different parameters than what people are usually trying to keep saltwater fish in for with all right guys so the fish i haven't noticed anything wrong with them any ill effect with the tap water they look as healthy as the day i brought them in look at that guy he's got beautiful he's gotten so big and he's so chunky look at him there you go keeping that um Hollywood Stunner at bay by picking at the pilots there, which is good. Uh, minimizes the stinging amongst other corals. So good job on that little angelfish there doing his thing. And uh, it's been great. All right. So again, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing to our channel. And uh, Molina Fab Brief out. And uh, Weiser Corals, if you guys are in the Moreno Valley area, you guys want to visit me shout uh give me a message me all right and um i'll be more than happy to show you guys my system if you guys are out here in uh, the california southern california area all right guys but we got the 40 breeders more coral coming soon and thank you guys again for watching all right peace guys